Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. Now I launched my YouTube channel back in early 2015. I launched it because I wanted to help you guys. I wanted you to realize how powerful and how capable you really are when you understand some really simple and basic concepts when it comes to money. Also, I realized that having conversations with my bestest and dearest girlfriends, that there is a huge gap around financial literacy. So with the backing and support of the absolutely lovely, wonderful, and so sincere Chloe Morello, I launched my YouTube channel. And today, I think I've published over 500 videos every Thursday afternoon, which is a good reason why you need to make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that bell is switched on. And that is to make sure that you continue on this journey. I never launched my channel to take on new financial planning clients because the truth is my financial planning client book has been closed for quite some time. Now, I know that a lot of you guys have been following me for a really long time and you may have found my channel from when you were say in debt or had no savings. And through hopefully my knowledge and my experience and my habits and my insights that I've shared with you, you've gone on from having whatever situation you were in to improving it. You now may have savings that you're ready to invest. You may be ready to buy your first home. You may be looking at some retirement goals. You may be looking at some investment goals and you feel that you are now ready for some personal advice from a licensed financial planner. So for this video, I'm sharing with you the seven requirements I myself personally would look for to find a good quality financial planner. Now I want to point out a good quality financial planner is like a swimming coach. That's the way I explain myself to my own clients. They're not going to swim the laps for you, but they're going to walk the pool with you. They also really help improve your financial well-being. They take a lot of stress and pressure off your shoulders. And probably I think the most important and probably the most undervalued benefit of having a financial planner is they will help stop you from making bad financial decisions. Number one, a financial planner that walks the talk. If you want to have a financial planner that understands the challenges, the pitfalls, the setbacks, the excitement that comes from working on your financial well-being, which is a journey, not a get rich quick scheme. It's important that they are in it as well. They have skin in the game. They understand the highs and the lows. They understand what it feels like. It means that they can hold your hand and hold your hand firmly because they're in it as well. They get it. And it's going to only solidify and deepen the relationship and the connection that you have with yourself, with them, and of course, your financial goals. Number two, you want to make sure that your financial planner is qualified. No fin influences here. I'm not having a go at financial influences at all, but it's important. If you are getting personal financial advice, they must be licensed. They must be qualified. They must have the right educational requirements. They must have passed the face year course and they must have done the professionalism and ethics course. This is incredibly important because it means they are legally liable for the advice, the personal advice that they give you through a statement of advice. So please go and check their qualifications before you agree for any levels of services. The third thing you need to consider when looking for a financial planner, that is what areas do they specialize in? When it comes to financial planning, there is such a wide range of things that you need to know and those rules and regulations and laws and um, boundaries and gaps and loopholes are always changing. It is hard to expect a financial planner to be to know absolutely everything all the time. I recommend finding a financial planner that specializes in a particular area that you need. For example, some financial planners specialize in Centrelink. Some financial planners like myself specialize in wealth accumulation. Some financial planners specialize in retirement planning. So you want to make sure that you find the right financial planner that matches your goals, but also your current situation so that you know that they know all the up to date rules and regulations that apply to you and will help you achieve your financial goals and dreams as efficiently as possible. The fourth thing I would look for in a quality financial planner is longevity. What are their plans? There is nothing worse than finding a great financial planner that you connect with. It's working really well to hear that they're now leaving the industry or leaving the firm. I would stop and ask them, where do you see yourself? Are you going to stay in the industry? How long are you going to do you see yourself helping me? Because as I said, it's a long term journey building financial wealth and independence. So you want someone not only holding your hand, but holding your hand with love and long term commitment. If they talk about or indicate that they might step out of the role, they're going to take a break away or have a sabbatical, maybe in that case, have a conversation with them as to what other alternatives do they have as a backup plan. 
The fifth thing I would look for in a good quality financial planner, and that is their bedside manner. How do they explain things to you? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel motivated? Do you feel inspired? Do you understand everything that they're talking to you about? And do you feel comfortable stopping and asking questions? Please promise me you will never sign something that you don't understand. You should be able to articulate back to your financial planner what you understand the strategy is that they have recommended. This is incredibly important because if you don't understand the advice, you're never gonna see the benefits of their advice. And you will most certainly not understand the risks that you are taking on, which is something I would never recommend. Ask your questions and make sure your financial planner does not rush them, but they take the time to make sure that you understand and that they know that you understand the advice at hand. The next thing I would look for is, is your financial planner going to charge you fee for service? This I think is incredibly important because it shows that the financial planner operates in the most ethical business model. There are no commissions being paid. Now, I myself have always run a fee-for-service financial planning practice, which means I charge a flat fee dependent on the level of service that the client requires and the amount of work that I need to do on their financial strategy to get them to where they want to be. Now, this means that you know that all the advice you are given is not impacted by commissions because there are no commissions being paid on any particular products. You know that what is being recommended for you is for your best interest to help you achieve your goals and dreams. I will point out in defense of financial planners, running a financial planning practice is expensive. There is a huge compliance risk and there is a huge amount of paperwork involved. So it's not a highly profitable business to run. So the fees are high and as we all know, there aren't many financial planners left after the new legislation requirements. So please always bear that in mind. But when it comes to looking at that fee, you cannot look at that fee and think, okay, well, my advisor is gonna be charging me $5,500 per year. Are they gonna make me income or profits greater than 5,500? No, that's the wrong way to look at it. When it comes to looking at your financial planning fee, you need to look at the overall value they are adding to your life. Are they taking the financial stress and pressure off your shoulders when it comes to achieving your financial goals and dreams? Are they showing you how to save tax legally along the way? That alone may actually exceed the cost of the fee that the financial planner is charging you. Are they showing you how to pay off your home loan faster and save a lot of interest along the way? Again, sometimes this alone can be in excess of the annual financial planning fee. And most importantly, are they helping you achieve your financial goals and dreams? Are they going to help you achieve your mindful money number? Is that fee worth it to have that peace of mind and comfort knowing that you've got an expert on your shoulders that you can access at any time to help you achieve those financial goals and dreams? But as I said, always look for a financial planner that is fee for service. There's no commissions involved whatsoever. And then the last thing I would look for when it comes to finding a good quality financial planner, and that is to make sure that you are not one of many clients. You wanna make sure you're not one of say four or 500 clients, that you are a client that's going to count, you are a client that they value and respect, and that you can call them and lean on them at any time within reason. This will make sure that they're on top of your financial affairs, they are proactive, they understand exactly what your goals are, and any challenges or potential challenges coming your way, and they can and proactively jump on them to help you find solutions and overcome them. Now, I really hope that this video helps you understand what you need to look for when it comes to finding a great financial planner. I recommend reaching out to family and friends and asking other financial planners for any advisors that they can recommend. Interview at least three because no two financial planners are the same and they all work in different and wonderful ways to help you achieve your financial goals and dreams. You may have to kiss a few toads before you find your prince or your princess. Now, thank you everyone for watching and please know you can continue on building your own financial knowledge and independence through my YouTube channel. Make sure that notification bell is switched on and I will see you next Thursday for more financial education, inspiration and knowledge.